Today is potato planting day. And because we don't have the main garden ready, it's just not anywhere ready to plant potatoes in, we're gonna be planting potatoes in buckets. <laughs> My roots go real deep with German Amish heritage. So meat and potatoes is strong in my bloodline. So potatoes is a crop that I knew we would always grow for our family. And even though I don't have the ideal situation this year, like I have really had the best results planting potatoes in ground, but that's not possible this year. And we have been bucket rich <laughs> on this property and so we're gonna plant the potatoes in these buckets today and just pray and hope for success these three here um, they were potatoes that i had gotten from a food co-op and they started to sprout in my pantry so i planted these at the beginning of march and they are sprouting and they're happy so I'm hoping that the other ones will do well too. Just put this on top so the chickens don't scratch at them. But Clint went ahead and he drilled holes in the bottom of all of these. So that way we would have some drainage for all of them. And a lot of them are like cracked on the side. So I think they'll drain pretty well. Um, and we'll see how many of these we can fill. Here in zone 7B, we're in Tennessee. We always plant our potatoes at the end of March. I was told that by a local farmer years ago and I trust his advice. So beginning of March, we always plant onions and at the end of March, we plant potatoes. So onions have been jamming for weeks. They're doing great. Today is plant, pl plant? Today is potato planting time. I'm gonna hook up the trailer to the mower, get some dirt in those and get to planting. So we have this pile of topsoil and um, we're going to fill the buckets up with topsoil and I'm actually going to shovel it into little buckets here. That way I'm not shoveling twice by shoveling it into the trailer and shoveling it out. Let's start to shovel. Worms in there? I know, I threw Great. one in one. You can, if you want to play with dirt, you can break up those clumps. Yay! We ended up putting two five gallon buckets of topsoil in here. And, you know, I don't know the quality of this topsoil. I mean, it's definitely dark. There's life in it, which is a good sign. Um, there's worms, which is always a good sign. So, we're going to break up some of these bigger clumps. We're gonna add a little bit of compost to the top. I really like this black cow. I've used it for many years and it works really great. So we're gonna put some of that on top of the topsoil, kind of mix it in a little bit and then plant the potatoes into that. And kind of smooth it and out. And you can even do this. Yeah. We're gonna add about two to three inches on top. You can ask us questions and send us a video again. You can ask, okay, what can does you... the black cow do on your video? A 
and show show us some. So so we can make a video for you guys to um you can call my dad. Let's talk for a minute about seed potatoes. So these first three I planted with potatoes that just sprouted in my pantry. They were from a local or uh, a farm that we get like a local food co-op. Um, and they, they grew and you'll grow potatoes that way. You can even grow potatoes from organic potatoes at the store that have sprouted. They may not produce as much as seed potatoes, but they'll still produce potatoes. Where I have found the most success with potatoes is buying seed potatoes. And the past couple of years, I've just gotten them um, either from the local like tractor supply or local co-op. And they just come in a bag. Usually it's like, I think it's a, I don't know, a five pound bag maybe. <laughs> And what I do is a couple days before I'm ready to plant, I just cut them, which is called chitting a potato. So C-H-I-T-I-N-G. <laughs> and you want to chit them so that way you have at least two eyes on each set of potatoes. So you can see uh, if it focuses on it, not really. Okay, so you want at least two per potato. So I've just cut them. And then to plant them, we are gonna space them about 12 to 15 inches apart is how you want to do it um, in ground. So in a pot here, I'm gonna put three in each pot and leave a little bit of space from the edge. That way they grow up in the middle and branch out, their roots branch out. And the reason I'm not filling up the bucket all the way to the top with soil is because as they sprout, I will continue to mound dirt or straw on top of them. So when we plant these, the first layer I do is straw, just to hold in the moisture. Um, that also protects them if we get like a late frost or anything. Potatoes are pretty frost hardy, but it will knock them back just a little bit. They'll still regrow if the frost got them. So that's why they're kind of frost hardy. Um, but we're gonna put straw on top of that. And then as it grows up, once it gets to, I would say, 10 to 15 inches high, I'll just mound up a little bit more soil until the soil is at the top and then I'll stop and I'll just let it leaf out all the way. Um, the reason you wanna keep putting soil and stuff too is because potatoes, the roots will go out and wherever soil touches, it'll form more potatoes. So mounding up is really the best way I've found. So let's plant these. You wanna take your potato and you wanna plant so the eye goes up. You wouldn't want to plant it like this because that means your roots are going that way. You want to plant it so the roots go up. on top of this this is just gonna hold in the moisture and then those sprouts will poke through the straw I'll let them grow nice big and bushy and then we'll mound either some more straw so while this is not my preferred method of growing potatoes um, I knew that I didn't want to just not plant potatoes because my garden isn't ready sometimes you have to roll with what you have and this year it was a pile of topsoil that we already had and it was a bunch of these buckets. I imagine they were like feed buckets or mineral buckets or something. They're literally everywhere. But this year, they're my potato buckets. And we will see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight here. This is just another example of being faithful with what we're given. And potatoes is all about reclaiming our roots here on the Faithful Farmstead. Because with the German in me, I gotta have my potatoes. Potatoes everything, it's just essential. <laughs> Stay tuned and we'll let you know what this produces this year.